Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Digital Marketing Today. Today we're talking with Paul Weatherhill of Kudos Digital Media about a wide variety of digital marketing topics. You're not going to want to miss this, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to today's episode of Digital Marketing Today. We've got Paul Weatherhill from Kudos Digital Media, and I'm really excited to have you in the studio with us today. We've been uh, trying to get this together for a while now, and uh, happy to have you. Thank you. I've just been a busy boy. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's always good to be busy, so especially right now. Thank so, you. so. Um, Right off the bat, you don't sound like you're from Texas. No, I'm from Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> really. that's, that's what I thought. Right? Not really. No, I'm actually from England. Yeah, so Leeds, right? Yes, that's So that's big correct. Leeds United fan. I am. I'm very happy that Leeds yeah. United got promoted this yeah. year to the Premiership. So, yeah. you know, everyone, you know, A little watching, tougher competition. Just, yeah, it's uh, going to be yeah. interesting. The yeah. first game is this Saturday against Liverpool, so it's going to be a big one. Awesome. But yeah, I'm excited about okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, I'm excited that the NFL season's kicking off. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah, I mean, I, I did spend some time in Jacksonville, Florida, okay. so I saw a few games there as yeah, well. Cool. I've been to a couple of Cowboys games as well here. All so, right. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so uh, so obviously you started out your career in Leeds. You were actually an economics professor. Yeah, I was. Yeah, um, that that was my my um, my first role really in yeah. my mid twenties, and um, I um, we we developed credit scoring algorithms for businesses, mm -hmm. um, so we could businesses could work out how to um, the risk associated with um, with um, dealing with other businesses, mm. and so um, when we when we developed that, we were approached by a seed corn fund to develop um, this online, um, an online system. And this is way back in 2000, before Google, before Facebook, before <laughs> the internet, really. <laughs> so right. we had to um, we had to work out how to um, do this online and, and, and create this um, this this system. And uh, I learned a lot about, about web development, about yeah. um, coding, mm -hmm. and so that really set off my career in digital marketing. Yeah. And that uh, that company was sold to the like the uh, European version of like Dun yeah, Dun and yeah, Bradstreet, yeah, right? It was yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. and that was in um, two thousand and eight. Okay, and so yeah, um, and it's still the remnants of that still. Yeah, it's, it's, but it, it kind of got it kind of got merged into the system. So, yeah, okay. but yeah, yeah, this, all the um, all the technology we developed is still is still in existence. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah to, to be that long lasting, particularly in the digital age. I yes, mean, yeah. Seems like things last for a year and a half, and then they're Very and then true. they're gone, right? Very so, true, yeah. So from there, you moved to Florida. Yes. And you started another digital marketing firm in Florida. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. my, the company that I developed in Florida was called my web refresh mm -hmm. and the reason i called it my web refresh was because pe a lot of people had websites mm -hmm. um, and they didn't they weren't necessarily you know as good as they could have been mm -hmm. um, but i didn't want to say you know like i'm going to redesign your website i'm going to refresh it mm -hmm. so it was kind of it was an easier way for people to understand that i'm going to you know like just enhance your um, your, your current website. It's all but, about perspective, right? Well, it's all, it's all about just, you know, yeah. um, just trying to um, work with people because they've they put a lot of time and investment into everything, you yeah. know, in their, in their marketing. And so it's, it's important to kind of, to kind of just ease them into the process of, of moving forward, right? I mean, you mm. understand that with your sure, company, yeah. Yeah. you know, you've, you've got to kind of give them the baby steps that they need to actually, um, to actually uh, move forward in marketing. Right. Yeah. So you had you told me an uh, interesting story that uh, so you were building websites in Flash at that time, which was a very popular yeah. code to, to build sites in. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden you had to like rebuild all your sites. Yeah. Um, well, when <laughs> it was when the iPhone came out, right? And uh, Apple did not do a deal then to have that on their platform. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody was building websites at that time in Flash because it was all the animation, it was everything. Right, yeah. you know, I'm sure you remember that. Yeah. And um, so yeah, uh, nobody could see um, a website on an iPhone. So mm. clients were saying to every, every web development company, mm -hmm. you know, where's my website? It's mm -hmm. disappeared. You know, because yeah. and um, so I, I, um, I hired um, some college students, some interns during this, in, you know, during the period of where they can be off. Um, to come into my office and we, re we re rebuilt 600 websites. 
Wow. And and uh, you know, I was first to market again in that mm -hmm. in that respect because mm -hmm. people just didn't know what to do. So I, I anticipated it, got the resources, and, and yeah. delivered it. So. Well, that's a good lesson for everybody, especially right now during this time. It's like you turn a challenge actually into an opportunity, and yes. a, and, and then a market advantage, right? Yeah. And well, I mean, it's, like, it's yeah. a, a, again in this in this current climate, I and mean, we don't need to dwell on it too much. But the mm. current climate is it is first to market. Mm. When I'm coming out of the of the pandemic, it's going to be you know who's got the um, the opportunity. And who's, got, and who's got the resources and it's not necessarily financial resources it's right more, sure yeah. it's more like i think um, business acumen you know and just a, sure. a, just a bit of strategy as well yeah so yeah well i think you know knowledge i think too i mean yeah you know course. there's a lot i think there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there that uh, sometimes discount the value of their own knowledge and their own experience that they yeah, have. And, so. Yeah, and yeah, it, but it, it's, it's difficult to, to draw on that sometimes when it's um, a difficult environment as well. So you just got to remember what you've done in the past, mm -hmm. how good you are, and, and what you've you know what you've experienced. So yeah. Well, one of the other things that you were kind of on the forefront on uh, during that time with that same company was that's kind of when the whole idea of like geofencing yeah. and, and and location you yeah. know, targeting yeah. people online kind of came about. And uh, you had a really successful uh, campaign using that predominantly for the Tim Tebow Foundation. Yeah, um, it was when I merged my company with a company called 3D Digital, and um, they're still going, going strong, great. And um, yeah, we, um, we managed to um, use geofencing with, um, with Tim Tebow. And um, we decided to, um, basically geofencing is where you can ring fence an area and target a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So it knows it from the GPS. So um, we, we, just, we just targeted NFL stadiums, college football, NBA, anything you could think of that was sports related, even high school football stadiums, because you could do that at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we were very successful in promoting his foundation. Mm -hmm. which was the key. It wasn't about Tim Tebow, it was about sure. his foundation. Right. And the, the foundation is very successful and yeah. incredible. So, uh, yeah, so we, we had success with that. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, then you came to the Dallas. Yes, I did. From there. Yes. What brought you to Dallas? Well, when I, uh, when I merged my company um, in Jacksonville, um, I, I got approached by iHeart Radio, mm -hmm. I Heart Radio mm -hmm. to be their um, head of digital, mm -hmm. and so I was. I've been doing that for um, four, four plus years, mm -hmm. and um, each uh, each month we took we took we were gaining market share in in terms of digital in terms of Dallas. Mm -hmm. So it was very successful, and then I made the decision in January to um, to form Kudos Digital Media. Right. So at iHeart. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting in, in talking to you earlier that the, the location targeting, because of the advances that have been made in that, you know, going from geofencing to more like specific and, you know, location yeah. uh, uh, targeting software and capabilities mm -hmm. and things like that, that was a, a huge uh, opportunity for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the idea that um, I have. Um, 2,000 different data points in every individual mm -hmm. um, in terms of what they can, what they do, where they go, what they're looking at online, you know, what they're mm -hmm. searching. Mm -hmm. So we have that ability to find people that have been places, but searching certain things, and it's, a very, it's become a very sophisticated technology. Yeah. It's really interesting. Um, a lot more sophisticated than most people would probably want to know. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit scary when you tell right. yeah. when you tell people what and and you know it it, it does change. You know, you do get yeah. um, ads that are very suited to you now. Right. In the early days, they weren't. They were very. I random. you know, as a consumer, I happen to like it because it actually saves a lot of time yeah. if you think about it in that way. So, yeah. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that are you know really concerned about privacy issues and you know, wanting to control their data and that type of thing mm -hmm. as well. So it is a give and take. But, yeah. you know, from my standpoint as a consumer, you know, I'm busy and, you know, so I'm okay with giving up a little bit of, yeah. of that data to be able to have things put in front of me that I actually yeah. want to see. And what a yeah. great point, though. You're making a great point there. Um, it's, the thing is, it's about the IP address of the, of the computer or the GPS of the um, phone. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily about you. Right. You know, so right, the, yeah. that phone could go anywhere. You know, you could give yeah. it to your daughter, you could give it to your son. It could go there. It'd still be being tracked, you know. So it's yeah. not. The actual personal level of the data is kind yeah. of like um, a little bit 
it's not it's not as personal as you you might think. Right. You know, but it is, it is a little bit yeah. you know, <laughs> strange. And then I mean that kind of uh, segues into you know when you're displaying information to those people that has to come from somewhere. So I know that like display advertising. Yeah. And that those types of tactics were are really big at, at iHeart. Yeah, they were, and uh, and and now in, in Kudos as well, we've got we've got um, we've got an in-house um, production team, design team. They can design the uh, display advertising. Mm -hmm. They can design video, mm -hmm. um, and so we've got we've got all those um, capabilities in place, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and so yeah, um, we it's but the display advertising is is has been important for many years, and it, it will continue. Yeah. Definitely. So, what made you decide to launch a business during the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> Actually, I was lucky. It was before. Okay. It was just before. So, I, um, I had everything in place and um, yeah. it's been... It's so, been, it was your fault, right? Yeah, it's oh, okay. of course, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's been interesting because, um, you know, I've seen a lot of um, people that have had um, very talented people, mm -hmm. you know, that have not, um, you know, been able to progress. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been able to help th help them help themselves, you know, and they've been able to help me build the business. So mm -hmm. I've now got a very strong team of people behind me, mm -hmm. um, which has been it's been good. I mean, it's I, I, I'm not I'm, it's not like I'm taking advantage of the situation. It's just sure. it's just a thing that happens. So right. I'm, I'm just really pleased that I can help people. I've always liked helping yeah. employ people and mm -hmm. help them grow. So. So uh, website design and development, obviously the, all the display advertisement, still the location yeah. uh, things, social media. Yeah, social uh, media is important. Um, you know, um, yeah. One of the things I think is really interesting on your approach to social media is the influencer marketing. Yeah, definitely. Because you've got a lot of contacts like from the music industry and then also yeah. obviously all the talent, you know, you know, talent that you've been in contact with, you yeah. know, in other places and things like that. Yeah, so. definitely, and it's um, it, it's a growing kind of industry as well because you know a lot of the uh, the musician talent, they're not doing um, as as much business at the moment. You know, they're not out there, they're not performing, and so mm. there's a lot of opportunity there. I'm helping singers that are doing singing lessons, for example, right. uh, a drummer that's doing drumming lessons, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things that they're doing it online, you know, over, right. the, over the internet, which is incredible now if you think yeah. about it, but it's kind of um, adjusting and being strategic in mm -hmm. terms of this current market, because you've got to be agile, you've got yeah. to change, you know, yeah. your approach. So um, luckily I'm in a position to help those people. Yeah. Uh, on a side note, have you seen the Dave Grohl uh, drum like battles with, no, with the no. little girl. Oh, we go, okay. Oh, I, I, I've I, got to, uh, I, Scott turned me on that. I've got to, okay. I've got to send you the link to that. It's awesome. That so, cool. yeah, it's Dave Grohl and, and then this uh, a young girl yep. who's like a really great drummer and playing his songs, and they're actually on Zoom together, like doing a drum battle, that's like like hilarious. playing the same song. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's, it's things it's like great. That's yeah. great. Yeah, but that's just, I mean that just that's, goes to your it, point. Yeah, you the, it shows you the power of social media. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Nice. Um, so, I wouldn't uh, let me kind of tag along with that a little bit because I know that you're a big proponent of it. Um, as and what we're doing right now, and you know, incorporating video into into content. So mm -hmm. you mentioned it as a re really important part of display. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the some of the uh, latest studies that we've seen coming out are pretty. Uh, it's pretty amazing about how just adding video instead of still image and and text makes those display ads perform mm -hmm. as far as you know the ROI on that. Yeah. But with all of the other the social media the you know, the other forms of marketing, where do you see this going as far as video marketing as a, you know, as a component with all those other Yeah, tactics? I mean, it's, uh, I, I've, I've seen the power of video on social, absolutely. The engagement's incredible, the sharing, the viewing, the liking, mm -hmm. it's been incredible, but I, I really see, um, I really see the future is in, um, you know, connected TV. It's called OTT, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's basically streaming on online. And um, I can see there's some interesting technology being developed where um, it's called device matching. Where um, you know we've we've had the technology for a while about your cell phone, um, and we know you know where you've been and things like that. But now it's going to be able to match that to the household, and you're going to be um, you're going to be shown an ad on your TV. That is actually related to you, 
which is interesting because you know normal cable TV is, yeah. is just generic, right? It right. Could, it's the it's the usual, you know, car dealer or whatever you know you've well, seen. That, but this is going to be a very specific. Yeah, one. I mean that's interesting because obviously you, you guys do OTT um, advertising, mm -hmm. but you also do can do traditional media buy. Yep. As course, well. Yeah. yeah. So how do those like how how I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is. Uh, how soon do you see that targeted version kind of taking over the traditional way that somebody would buy like a you know a 30 second spot in a market to show so many times in a, in a yeah I mean it's way. already happening to be honest it's yeah. um, the industry is predicted to grow exponentially mm -hmm. um, and you know the fact that you can actually narrow it to a zip code mm -hmm. you know or a, a, a few zip codes so you know you could you could um, you could actually target households in a certain area. Mm -hmm. um, that says a lot because then you know you, there's the waste of the of the the advertising dollars is not there yeah. because you you know you're very focused. So I think the industry is definitely moving towards that. There's also there there's always going to be um, a, um, a world of um, traditional media mm -hmm. because you need the funnel approach. You know um, yeah. you know the targeted approach is down here, but the funnel approach is where you sure. know people are not actually they don't really know if they're going to buy yet. You're right. But you want people to be aware. Mm -hmm. um, the targeted approach is more ready to buy type thing. So yeah. I think um, I think it's it's important to have have both elements in the and and that's why kudos digital media does provide both. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool. Well, I mean, it certainly helps someone to have somebody like kudos on their side that understands how those things work together. Yeah, right? yeah is. Yes. depending on the strategy, you know. Yeah, so. and, and that's important. I mean, it's it is a it's a, a, every strategy that we develop is fluid and, and different, and um, it's important to remember when you st set off a marketing strategy in the digital world, you've um, you've got to be you've got to be flexible. Mm -hmm. And again, I use the word agile earlier, but you've got to be agile. You've got to look at this um, project every day, and you've got to move budget to mm -hmm. make sure you've got the uh, the right the right combination that's mm -hmm. going to get the ma maximum ROI, like you said earlier. So right, it's important. On the OTT side, I mean, you know, we've we've been uh, involved for a couple of years on that side, looking at different uh, platforms, and we actually have our own uh, network channel mm -hmm. on an OTT platform. Yeah. yeah where we can put content up like this and other shows that we produce, you yeah. know, so it's a specific type of content. Yeah. So more episodic, you know, yeah. kind of longer format that's show type content. Fantastic. Um, so that's a distribution platform for us. But um, from a from what you see, the data on your side from a view, viewer audience standpoint, how how big is OTT right now and where do you think it's going compared to traditional like cable programming. Like I said, it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be in the billions before we know it, you know. And um, it's um, it's going to certainly a lot of the cable providers are moving into the space, right? Um, mm -hmm. And so they know they can see it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm and so you, I've I've seen you know I've seen um, uh, companies combining different um, forms of media to try and you know work out. But the beauty of OTT is you can actually see engagement. You can actually see that. Like right. with cable, you can't really see it. But um, with OTT, you can see, mm. pe you know, see people viewing, you can see people, <laughs> you know, the engagement rate in terms of them mm. not um, turning off the, um, the actual ad. Right. Um, one of the things that I do is it, it's, it's got to be a non-skippable ad. Mm. So it's something like if I'm going to watch the soccer, going right. to watch Leeds United, for example, I'll sit through for ads. Right. To watch on you know, NBC Sports to watch sure. Leeds United. Yeah. You so you don't skip it. So mm -hmm. that's the beauty of OTT. With, well, I mean, just look cable. at the Super Bowl. I mean, yeah, it's exactly. Like, I mean, the, the commercials get higher ratings than yeah, the actual course. games. But, but with yeah. cable, you can. Um, you see, OTT is on demand, but with yeah. with cable, you can put it on a DVR. You know, you can, and then you can skip the ads. Can't you? You can just fast forward. So, but with um, with OTT, you can't. So it's it's giving the client um, a, a, a good. Um, ROI, a good, a good value for what they're paying for because they know that somebody is actually going to actually physically watch it. So that's, mm. I think that's the key to, um, to the OTT, but it's going to be, it's going to be huge. <clears throat> so, um, so Kudos is launched up and running, mm -hmm. helping out clients already. What do you, what do you see in the next 
like two to five years or something with you know like with kudos like you know, where, where are you going interesting question i mean i'm happy every day i wake up and i'm sure. you know i can't wait to get to work mm -hmm. um but um i i really i really want to focus on the small medium-sized businesses um i think it's important to have a, a a good um support network there for them um so i'm i'm kind of focusing on those kind of companies at the moment just to help them mm -hmm. and try and get them you know try and pull them out of this current economic situation and I think I can. I think I've got the, I've certainly got the team behind me to do it. So I don't know about me, but <laughs> I'm sure the team, the team can do it. Yeah, well that's good. It's always great to have a good team. Um, so uh, if you could give our viewers uh, maybe one or two words of wisdom when it comes to digital marketing i mean it's like this term that floats around out there and it means so many different things to so many different people and you know as a as a business owner you know you hear a lot of different things from people like well you need to be doing this you need to be doing this this is the next trend this is the mm -hmm. next yeah. fad you know what are what's a like basic principle that a business owner could take away well i think um a lot of the you know, small to medium sized businesses get bombarded with this kind of information. So mm -hmm. I think it's a case of just take, sitting back, reflecting and finding the right advice. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've always been a proponent of giving people like really good advice, you know, and, um, you know, don't panic, don't do it too early as well, because um, a lot of people will think digital marketing, marketing is going to solve my actual business issues you know yeah. and so don't jump into it too quickly mm -hmm. make sure you know it understand what you're doing and get and basically get get the right advice and so mm -hmm. that's the that's the key to it really I think do a lot of people do jump in too quick mm -hmm. so and I'm, I'm I never rush people in terms of that decision-making process mm -hmm. so. so you heard it right here you need to call Paul <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody does want to do that I mean we're gonna put your contact information and yeah everything absolutely up, but, but I, you're, I'd be happy you, to just, happy you can be, to you can be found, found anywhere online obviously yeah. because that's what your expertise is yes. right but, but yeah I'd be happy to discuss anything but the website anyone. is uh, kudos digital kudos digital media com. that's right yeah, that's, that's right. right I couldn't remember if it had the media on the yeah, yeah, yeah so does, kudos yeah. digital media dot com uh, but we'll have all that contact information in the in the notes wonderful uh, Thank you. you know, along with the video, but uh, appreciate really, it. really appreciate you coming in. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you, sir. Stopping by today and having a conversation, Excellent. and uh, hope you all enjoyed it at home. Thank you. And hope you will join us for the next episode of Digital Marketing Today coming up soon. We'll see you then. Thank you.